On the big island of Hawaii, the towering Mauna Kea volcano is truly an impressive sight to behold. If you were to measure Mauna Kea from its starting point on the ocean floor, it would not only be the tallest volcano, but also tallest mountain on the planet, rising a total of 33,496 feet from the ocean floor. It was so tall that during the last ice age, its summit area even contained glaciers. However, while many people think that Mauna Kea is a dormant volcano, it could also be described as active as it has erupted several times during the Holocene period, the last of which occurred in a cluster of several eruptions between 4,000 and 6,000 years ago. To further prove this, I have outlined the areas which were covered in lava flows and ash from the Mauna Kea volcano in the last 10,000 years. With this being said, despite 5,000 years being a long time, Mauna Kea is likely to erupt once again at some point in the future, perhaps distant future, as two other active volcanoes which have not erupted in a similar time span are the Crater Lake Volcano in Oregon and Carrizozo Volcano in New Mexico. The Mauna Kea Volcano is the oldest still active volcano on the Big Island of Hawaii, encompassing a little less than one quarter of the island's area above sea level. You might note that this volcano somewhat looks similar to Hualalai, as just like that volcano, Mauna Kea does not currently have a caldera. Although the exact age of Mauna Kea is unclear, it likely began forming somewhere between 800,000 and 1 million years ago. Its initial activity began with effusive eruptions of basalt composition lava on the deep sea floor, which created numerous rounded glass of lava referred to as pillow basalt. After reaching the surface more than 100,000 years after its first eruption, the main phase of shield-building volcanic activity began. During this period, numerous lava fountains and spatter cones were generated through effusive volcanism, whose yearly rate in terms of volume of erupted material was about half as much as Kilauea's average yearly rate during the last 200 years. Eventually, three rift zones developed, allowing for more distinct flank eruptions to more commonly occur. One rift zone went towards the south-southeast, one towards the east-northeast, and one towards the west-northwest. This caused Mauna Kea's edifice to become somewhat elongated along those three rifts in a highly rounded, triangle-like shape. By 250,000 years ago, more than 90% of Mauna Kea's modern edifice had been constructed. Volcanism thereafter shifted to a post-shield phase. This caused eruptions to be slightly more explosive, but more importantly, produced more viscous lava, which in turn created a steeper slope on the volcano. The boundary between the shield building and post-shield lavas can be easily spotted on Mauna Kea's flanks due to an abrupt change in slope. While the eruptive rate of the volcano declined during this period to one-tenth of what it was during its shield building phase, numerous cinder cones were constructed and the summit of Mauna Kea grew in height. During this period, several glaciers expanded and retreated on Mauna Kea's summit, which smoothed some of the local topography. Beginning around 65,000 years ago and continuing to 4,000 years ago, almost all of Mauna Kea's eruptions were more explosive, creating black tephra deposits visible from satellite and creating the majority of cinder cones which dot its summit, flanks, and three rift zones. One of these cinder cones erupted approximately 4,000 years ago. This eruption's original magma chamber may have led to the formation of an evolving pit crater which reached the surface sometime between 2015 and 2016. Although Mauna Kea will erupt again, this is statistically less likely to occur than 100 future eruptions on Mauna Loa happening first. With this being said, if an eruption was to occur, it would likely originate a one of three rift zones, creating slow-moving lava flows, but unlike many other Hawaiian eruptions, depositing at least a dusting of ash across sections of the Mauna Kea volcano, perhaps within five to six miles of an erupting vent. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.